Howdy guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last part, we got bombs, which allow us to use a cannon from the pirates that we stole. And in this part, we're going to be using those bombs to visit the spirit Jaboon so we can have his pearl. Hmm, that's interesting. That chest is invisible. Anyways, but before we head to Outset, we are going to head over to that island you can kind of see in the distance because I want to get a wall upgrade from there first. We're going to get another wallet upgrade back on Outset, but for now, I want to get both of these because it's sweet. By the way, even though they say they're going to uh, beat you if you take too long, and they're going to be there on Outset in the morning to uh, to take the treasure. The pirates said that in the last episode, if you don't remember. It is going to be night forever. Like If we pull out our little thing there, it's permanently night. And it will not turn day until you get the treasure, so that's why I'm just dicking around and not... Uh, using my time wisely. And it kind of sucks because Outset is on the complete other side of the world. And I'm heading north right now, and Outset is south from here. So I'm heading even further away. Of course, I'm going to cut that. But for now, I want to go over here, and I'm going to go talk to that fish because I don't know. I have some bait to waste. Actually, you know what? Screw that. I don't need to talk to the fish. What am I talking about? If we go in here, and we could have gone here earlier to the Northern Fairy Isle, which is right on this square, right there. Then, even if you don't have bombs, you can go in here, which will get us an awesome upgrade. Specifically, a wall upgrade. Specifically, a wall upgrade, I should say. And fortunately for us, these guys don't have that really creepy laugh that they used to have. Young Waker of the Winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. You can now carry more rupees! Now you can hold up to 1,000! The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Alright, sweet. I don't believe... Oops, my button. I don't have an empty bottle to put any of these guys in. So we're just going to head out of here. Now that we got a thousand rupees that we can hold. That's pretty sweet. And we'll be expanding our wallet to the absolute fullest when we get to the outset. Ooh. I hope this is rupees. I really do. Good evening, letters for Bieber. We have one letter. Here's your letter. What is it now? I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices, but we have only one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rockspire Shop Ship. And a single green, green rupee. Better not spend it in one place. Anyways, I will see you guys all the way on Outset, which is way down there. And by the way, you can't sail to the top of the world and end up on the bottom. This is not Pac-Man. You have to sail all the way down there. So I will see you guys all the way down there. I got a treasure. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this, but uh, what is it? This is how you use a grappling hook, by the way. This is the first treasure we've gotten, and I hope it's good. I hope it's not just a green rupee. Oh boy, what is it? A red rupee, not too bad. Anyways, back to sailing. And more treasure. Alright, well, my ADD is not going to let these treasures pass, so... I'm going to go ahead and look at these. I hope it's something good. Not a green rupee. Red rupee again. Alright. Whatever. Another red rupee. Anyways, meet you guys on outset. Alright, here we are, Outset Island. Have you noticed, Bieber? Morden has not yet broken since we left Great Fish Isle, the land that was ravaged by monsters, as if it was frozen by time itself. Perhaps this is the curse that Falu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. 
Alright, sounds good to me. But I'm not going to speak to anybody, really. I am just going to go get another wallet upgrade first. And then we're going to go get Dragoon, because I don't care about my family. And they have nothing important to say. Absolutely nothing. Orca does. But it's not too important. It's just telling us that we need to get 10 Knight's Crest, because, you know, that's pretty cool. He sent us a letter about it a while ago. But if we get 10 Knight's Crest... I don't know why that's such a tongue twister today. Knight's Crest... Um... Then we can learn a new move. It's a pretty sweet move. And we'll, of course, be learning that in the future. I'm gonna kill all these chews because I do want their delicious insides. What I don't want is stupid drop frames, Dazzle! I don't think I'm ever gonna do a console LP ever again. Just because of how much drop frames I'm getting so uh, recently. So recently? I don't know. Add an extra word in there. I don't understand. Anyway, if we come up here and we take out our Deku Leaf. I'm just gonna chop down all these trees. Let's see if I can pick up some rupees from this grass. Because I need some rupees. Really need some rupees. Believe me, 246 may seem like an okay amount, but we are gonna need tons in the future. Run away from these guys. These guys are called mini blends. I know we've seen them before in the Forsaken Fortress, but they're super annoying. Anyways, you can either go up to where I'm gonna go, or go up there and then change the wind direction in order to get this wall upgrade. Since the bridge broke, you'd think you couldn't get over to the Forbidden Woods anymore, but you can if you take out your Wind Waker, change the wind direction to over there, and use the Deku Leaf. It's easier to get it from over here, but you can get it from over on that rock if you want to. If you stand at the highest point, of course. Anyways, let's jump off and use the Deku Leaf, and this should carry us pretty easily over to here. And now we can go get that wall upgrade. Although I think there's some Moblins in here now, which is not going to create a fun time for us, but whatever. Alrighty now, I'm going to put on my Boomerang. No, I'm not. I take that back. We need the bombs. I'm just going to see if there's anything over here. I'm feeling there's enemies. Oh, one of you guys? Well, you're not too hard. If he drops anything decent, I'll go up there and get it. Nope, just magic. All right. Well then, I believe we need to head over... Where? Perhaps over here? I think we do need to head over here. If we head over here, we can see this giant rock. And if we read this sign, I believe it says something about it. Fairy Fountain Sight. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle, so the f uh, fairies would heal his wounds. And it's the Fairy of Fortune. Which I believe we already visited one of those, but this should be the other Fairy of Fortune. And if we blow that up, we can get this little hole. And that'll take us to the Fairy Fountain. I'll pick this one rupee because I'm greedy. And I'm so greedy that this new item shall be really awesome. In fact, let's go pick it up. <laughs> Give me money. You can now carry more rupees, up to 5,000. The largest amount you possibly can in the entire game. Which is sweet, and of course, I will try to reach that cap, because if we do, then we can easily pay for the one thing that's really expensive in this game. Although there's a few things I want to buy, like that shop ship aisle, or that shop ship shop, the, the shop ship, that's it, or the ship shop. I have no idea, I've never been there before, but I've heard about it. Apparently you can buy a piece of heart and a bottle there. Those are two awesome things that I'd really like to buy. So, let's head out of these woods here. I believe these are called the Forbidden Woods as well. Even though we were just in that a while ago, because that was the second dungeon in the game. 
And I'm gonna drop 500 frames within a minute. That is ridiculous. Dazzle, you are just getting too silly now. This is not a fun time. And then we are going to fly back down here. So that we can take our boat to the back part of the aisle. So we can go visit Jaboon. We're going to put on the sail. And I believe the wind is in an okay direction. So let's go hop on the King of Red Lions. We're going to ignore those trees for now. And we are going to use him to go ahead and free Jaboon so we can get his pearl. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the backside of Outset where Jaboon is said to hide. Alright then. So let's just sail around over here. And like you said, he's on the backside of Outset. I don't know how nobody saw this. I guess nobody goes sailing back here. And we actually have to do get caught up in this whirlpool, I believe. Oops, stopped a little bit too soon. We gotta get caught up in this, that way we can make shots on this. What you wanna do is hit the top of the- oop, that's right, you have to hit the bomb button. You wanna hit the very top of the thing the first time. Because if you just hit the regular wall, it'll turn red. So you wanna hit the part that looks broken, which at this point is the top one. So let's just go ahead and go in it. Yeah, see, I didn't hit the top. You wanna hit the top, or maybe you don't. Maybe you just wanna hit it over and over again. Seems like you're supposed to hit the top. Work that time. I don't know. I could be crazy. And then just keep shooting at it. See, it worked that time when I hit the crack part as well. And then if we hit this last part, I'm not sure if I'm going to hit it. Oh, I did. Alrighty then. Then we will <laughs> miss miserably in that cutscene. And we will manage to get to the cave where Jaboon lies. Not too hard. Just make sure not to waste tons of bombs, otherwise you can get screwed. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I'm glad to see that you are safe. Yes, it seems the cannon has returned. There can be no other explanation. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not so. <laughs> the one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one, and yet I sense great promise in the courage that he possesses. <laughs> I do. It is the only way. I have no idea what he said, but I will take the pearl. And with that, we have got Nairu's pearl! The water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you his troll at treasure of one of the goddesses. And so, with these pearls, we can open up a very special place, but we'll be doing that in the next part. Of course. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Alright, cool beans. And with this last pearl, we can actually progress in the game, that's pretty sweet. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Beaver? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed each one of the pearls in its proper location, the proven grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be much greater than any of you have faced so, so, ugh, so far. You should finish any business you have on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Alright, fair enough. But I have no regrets, so, in the next part, we will go ahead and set all those pearls. And I will see you guys next time when we do that. Bye.